Vail Pass is home to a wide variety of wildlife species, including elk, mule deer, and moose. It is also home to one of the few known breeding populations of the elusive Canada lynx outside of Southwest Colorado. Running through the White River National Forest, Interstate 70 has constant traffic flows that create a year-round linear barrier to wildlife movement. On East Vale, the highway is divided. Eastbound lanes have high bridges that wildlife already use as crossing structures. However, wildlife cannot safely cross the westbound lanes. Due to the ecological significance, the constant traffic flows, and the existing crossing opportunities on the eastbound lanes, Eastvale Pass was identified as a high priority for wildlife crossings. The I-70 Eastvale Pass Wildlife Crossing Feasibility Study investigated conceptual designs for three wildlife crossings, a buried bridge underpass at mile marker 193.5, an arch underpass at mile marker 193.0, and an hourglass overpass at mile marker 192.3. Summit County Safe Passages, CDOT, key stakeholders, and the consultant team considered multiple crossing types and designs in order to arrive at the conceptual designs shown in this video. Wildlife fencing is proposed along both directions of I-70. Connected to the crossings, this creates a complete wildlife crossing system for Eastvale Pass. The proposed buried bridge underpass at mile marker 193.5 aligns with an existing bridge on the eastbound lanes of I-70. While this structure is a bridge, the roadway will be built on an earthen layer on top of the bridge structure to reduce roadway icing in winter months. The proposed structure at mile marker 193.0 is a more traditional arch underpass, commonly used for wildlife crossings. This structure is between two existing bridges on the eastbound lanes of I-70. Both underpass structures are designed to be used by a variety of wildlife species throughout the entire year. Aligned with an existing bridge on eastbound I-70, the hourglass overpass structure proposed at mile marker 192.3 provides a different way for wildlife to cross westbound I-70. Many elements to ensure wildlife feels safe crossing over I-70 have been considered, including the overall width and length of the crossing, planting trees and vegetation on the approaches, and ways to block noise and provide visual barriers to the roadway. Across the project, a diversity of crossing structures will ensure suitable crossing opportunities for a larger variety of species. Although conceptual, these designs lay the groundwork for the next steps in creating safe crossings across I-70 on Eastvale Pass. Summit County Safe Passages is the driving force behind the Eastvale Pass Wildlife Crossings Project. SCSP is a collaborative team of stakeholders and is 100% volunteer run. The next phase of the project will be final permitting and design, followed by construction. Both of these require considerable funding and support that can come from a variety of private, public, state, and federal sources. Crossing structures pay for themselves in a relatively short period of time by reducing crashes, saving human lives, and protecting wildlife. However, these structures cannot be built without community support and funding. There are many ways to support Summit County Safe Passages and the advancement of this project. Spreading the word about the impact traffic has on wildlife raises awareness on the issue. Become a citizen scientist to help monitor wildlife using remote triggered cameras along Eastvale Pass. Show your support by volunteering, attending, or sponsoring an event. Donate to the project. To learn more or support this project, visit summitcountysafepassages.org.